Well, it's that time again. Christmas Day, the documentary on catastrophism came out. It was the combination of nine videos that we had made on the topic thus far. We had to make so many, we've made so many more because the science keeps coming out. There is no way to keep up with it. It's coming so quickly. And that's not going to stop. It's one of the forever beauties now of modern catastrophism until the new age, probably. So let's get started. Who remembers this chart? We've shown a number of similar ones and they all help to break down the cycle and the events that come every time we have the cyclical catastrophe of Earth. It was enough to help the major shift in the field of science begin. And while all the line items in the cycle have progressed in research, volcanoes do tend to go under the radar compared to major solar outbursts, geomagnetic reversal, and climate and biosphere chaos. But they are, of course, a part of them. And after we recently saw Heinrich events are getting their volcanoes identified, including the last one, we had figured it would be only a matter of time until they went deeper into detail with the Dansgaard Oshker events every 1500 years. And this is what we have now, a phenomenal finality completing the long cycle picture. So let's go ahead and paint the rest of it quickly. After the millennial scale solar flare cycle had long been known and long hypothesized to be connected to the Dansgaard Oshker events, we learned last year that the longer hypothesized 3,000 and 6,000 year harmonics of the 1500 year events are true as well. This all but cemented the connection between those solar cycles and similar timescale events on Earth, and then it was cemented when the solar Heinrich bond cycle got its name. The bond events are the Holocene version of Dansgaard Oshker events, by the way, and there was no need to have a different name for them. However, I will say that solar Heinrich bond cycle rolls off the tongue somewhat more easily than solar Heinrich Dansgaard Oshker event cycle. The combined solar and geomagnetic forcing of the planetary rotation on the 1500 year scale was solidified after the last few years solidified the forcing on shorter time scales. These Dansgaard Oshker events are the big deal at the millennial time scale. The synchronization of the Heinrich and Dansgaard Oshker events was already sort of obvious in the data, but this also fortifies the solar connection to both events and the forcing affecting the Atlantic was confirmed as well, always coming in stride. And regular viewers will recognize this as one of the places where modern catastrophism and modern climate science are beginning to cross paths. All of these are related, and the volcano should, in fact, be one of the easiest factors to force when we have a major solar outburst. It has been known for nearly a decade. Cosmic ray particles affect volcanoes, and the geomagnetic induction reaches the mantle. And so, one might have watched the Christmas Day documentary and asked, well then, buddy, why don't we see evidence of volcanoes tied to the 1,500-year events as well? And we'd have said, just give them time. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.